I greet you. Uh, so today, what we will be looking at is the photoelectric effect. Um, my name is Edgar Sipolubes, and I would like to help you with some. This is NSC Matriculant Grade 12. Um, assistance for the photoelectric effect physical sciences paper one so we just briefly want to go through the photoelectric effect which is usually the last question of the exam so yes yeah, so let us begin um, so you're looking at notes I made but yeah, I'm going to use this section to go through it. So, let's start off with a definition of the photoelectric effect. So, what is the photoelectric effect? The photoelectric effect is a phenomenon in which a light of a sufficient frequency is made incident on a material surface, such as a metal surface, and and electrons are are emitted from the surface so let me repeat that again so light of a sufficient frequency is made incident on a material surface such as a metal surface and electrons are emitted from the surface so three things I would just like to highlight in this definition Basically, in simple terms, you're shining light on a metal uh, on a material surface, which we will, in most cases, consider as a metal surface. So you have a light, maybe some a light source such as a laser, and you shine it on this metal surface, and and in response to you shining or shining this light on the surface, which is what I mean by making it incident you're making this laser light source incident on the surface then in response to that electrons are, are emitted from the from the metal surface so the condition i said the light must be of a sufficient frequency not every light source that is shown onto this metal surface will emit electrons that light particularly has to have enough frequency, the right, sufficient frequency. Frequency, if you if you recall from the electromagnetic spectrum, is proportional to energy. So, if a light source has sufficient frequency, it means it has sufficient energy. And now you have to understand when we talk about the photoelectric effect we have a light source which has enough energy enough frequency and we shine it on the surface to emit electrons these electrons we call them usually photoelectrons why because they are they are a result of the photons of the light that came in because the light is made up of photons which are basically um particle like packages of energy you know discrete energy you know you know it's it it's some particular value or multiple of some value of the energies contained in photons so i just want to break it down simpler for you because i might be speaking a lot of words so just think of the simple situation you have a metal surface you shine a light source like a laser source that light source, like a laser source, like a laser, for example, it has enough, it has photons, which are particle-like particles, particle-like, um, you know, energy packages, I would think, I would call it. And, you sh and those photons, they are, they, they have enough energy to emit photo uh, to emit electrons from the surface of the metal and this surface and these electrons emitted we refer to as photoelectrons and i want to expand a bit more on what i mean by having sufficient energy so 
electrons that are on this metal surface they have an energy of their own because electrons are free to move remember delocalized they are in motion they have some kinetic energy but there are also there's also an energy due to in these electrons due to their attraction to the positive ions of the metals um metal surface because these electrons remain on inside the metal because they must be attracted to some positive ions if it wasn't so then we'd have the electrons flying off of the metal but they don't because they are keep bound in place because they have some attraction to um some positive ions you know so just going through briefly again the definition of photoelectric effect you have the photo so our if i were defining this formally i'm going to say it again the photoelectric effect is a phenomenon in which um light of sufficient incident of sufficient frequency is made incident on a material surface such as a metal surface and electrons which we refer to as photoelectrons are emitted so that's the definition of the photoelectric effect now the significance of the photoelectric effect is that you have to understand that light has um, two personalities or we formally refer to this as the wave particle duality of light so when you're studying the propagation of light it's it's easier to use a wave model to study light as waves but when we look at emission and absorption phenomena in light or in in reference to light or with reference to light then we find that um, the particle approach a particle model makes sense so you you know even though formally technically in physics photons are not considered as particles in grade 12 I think it's sufficient for you to say photons are light particles so that we can treat the photoelectric effect so that you can understand that in the photoelectric effect the significance of the photoelectric effect is that we are studying light as particles or studying light you know that we're looking at the particle nature of light we are looking at photons which are particles as we are looking at we are looking at the the wave the way is the waves or, or, or light waves we're looking at them from the particle level which is photons so now I want to define the threshold frequency the threshold frequency is the minimum frequency which the incident light shining on the metal surface has to be for electrons to be emitted remember we said we said when we were defining the photoelectric effect that the incident light has to have sufficient um, frequency and this sufficient frequency or the minimum frequency that light that is incident on the metal surface has to be is referred to as a threshold frequency so if I was formally defining the threshold frequency I would say the threshold frequency is the minimum frequency of required for light to emit electrons from a particular metal surface or a particular material surface and similarly to that we define the work function the work function is the amount of the minimum amount of energy required for a light source to emit um, to emit electrons or emit photoelectrons you know so basically we're looking at here the minimum amount of energy in the photons the minimum amount of energy the light source that is shining on this metal surface has to be in order for any photoelectrons to be emitted that's the work function so now I want to just look at some expression from my notes I want to look at this expression here so this expression here we're saying the energy of a photon which is from the light source in order for any electron to be emitted it must be um, it must overcome 
the sum of the kinetic energy of the electron plus the plus the work function remember the kinetic energy of the electron is that the electron is in motion and this work this this phi here represents the work function and that work function is related to that work function is related we can relate it more think of it more as remember we said there's an attraction to the positive ions to be broken so the photon energy has to be able to overcome this sum in order for any electron to be emitted and um so k max here is just the maximum kinetic energy of the electron the kinetic energy of the electron in motion in the metal surface and um you have to understand some more i want to look at more expressions so the energy of the photon is given by this expression equals hf and f from this definition c where c is the speed of light equals f times lambda um we 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 in this expression you, you make f the subject of the formula and you substitute that f here and c is of course the speed of light which is three times 10 to the power of eight meters per second and that is this value here and now we want to um look at we want to look at um, 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 um. so we were just looking at some of these expressions and we've mentioned that for any electrons to be emitted the energy of the photon which is just hf must be greater than the work function this is a work function here this just a symbol that we're using this phi it's called phi the greek symbol phi that we use to represent the work function don't be don't be scared by the symbols the symbol here phi is just a represent it's just a symbol that we're using for the work function you could have called it w0 or something else it doesn't really matter as long as we know that it represents a work function and now we just want to discuss the significance of intensity and frequency on the photoelectric effect now there was in the past when they before they had discovered um the photoelectric effects there were a number of experiments done in reference with particularly about light and it was thought that the higher the intensity of light the more the, the the more the electrons could be emitted of a metal surface but they later discovered that intensity uh, it does not affect their uh it does not cause high intensity does not cause uh photo electron electrons to be emitted it solely depends on the frequency so long as there is enough frequency photo electrons will be emitted what the intensity does affect though is that the higher the intensity means that with the high intensity intensity it means more photo electrons i mean more photons are, in, are, are are incident on the metal surface so a higher number of photo electrons can be emitted so the higher intensity the higher the photo electrons emitted but if you increase the intensity yet your frequency is still not enough you will still not emit any photoelectrons. The frequency determines whether any photoelectrons are released at all or emitted at all. And if you have enough frequency, photoelectrons will be emitted. But if you now suppose you have now increased, suppose you have the su sufficient amount of frequency, you have, which means you have met the threshold frequency or you are above the threshold frequency. Once you are above the threshold frequency, you must make sure that um, this significance. Uh, you must make sure that now, you, if you increase the in intensity, now there will be more photons that are coming. A greater number of photons coming onto the metal surface, and a greater number of photoelectrons will be emitted. So yeah, this is this is just a note.